Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. And in this video, I'll be talking about page localization in .NET Nook, and more specifically about a module that does that for you, a module called Apollo Page Localization. So in the last, in some, some of the previous episodes, I have discussed about how to change, how to have the content added in multiple languages, as well as how to have news and, news and um, articles, announcements done in multiple languages as well. But this time, but back then, what we have not covered is, let's say in our dev site here, I can flip from English to uh, French, but, and I have done that to news, I can flip back and forth so you can see content from both languages, but the page names, they are stay, they, they are staying with, with the same names, with the original names, all the English names. So I want to be able to set up the page level properties in, in both languages as well, or in as many languages as I have my site. I, I want to have home in English and home in French as well. News in English and news in French. So this module, Apollo page localization, it comes to address that. So first thing that I have to do is I have to log in to my site as host level because I have to install a new module. And from here, I can go to host, module definitions. I have already this, this module locally, so I will not purchase it anymore from here, but that's the link in Snow Covered. That's, that's the page in Snow Covered. So from here, I will have to install it as a regular module. Now, just to give an idea of, of what of the package, the installation package, when you purchase this module. Here is Windows Explorer, and I have already unzipped the package. So you're gonna get something like this, and it says before unzip, before install. So here's the folder, and we have a couple of different zip files inside of it. I'm not gonna care about, at this point, for these redistribution uh, packages. I'm more interested about the Apollo page localization. There is an installation, and there's a source. I'm gonna focus on the installation because we just want to install it out of the box. So I'm just gonna copy this URL. I'm gonna go back to the site and I'm going to go through a regular module installation process. So I click on browse. I will select the package. Here it is Apollo page localization, install, click open, click next, uh, click next again some information here, click next, I'm going to accept the license, click next, and it's installing. So let's scroll down and see if everything is okay, everything seems to be fine, click on return. Okay. Now let's scroll down and see if it's really installed, it is, it's called page localization. So here is where I'm going to add this module to. The most logical place that I can think of that we should add this module is under admin pages. Under admin pages, we already have the pages module there. So I'm just going to add to this page the page localization module as well. So under the drop down, module drop down at the top, I'm going to select page localization and I'm just going to add to this page as well. So down here, as you can see, we have the we, we, can, we can see the entire tree view of the pages in the site. I can click on the on one page and at on, on the right side, I can select the, the language and I can put the translation there. Now I just Google it quickly, what is home in French? So I do have it here. And when I do that, I can click update. And now I hope that if I flip back and forth, I do have home and I do have French, the French version. And so now, again, this module is just to do that. It's just to allow you to do page name, page title, description, keywords, page headers, header tags, everything you can do that, um, 
in, in both languages at this point by using the page localization module. Now, if I go back here to my homepage, I would expect, but I'm wrong. I will let you know upfront that I'm wrong, but I would expect that if I just flip back and forth here, my home link would change automatically, but it doesn't happen. And it doesn't happen because of a very simple reason. Uh, this, uh, this module page localization, it comes with some additional, uh, skin controls that you, you, you have to change the regular menu to use its own controls. So you can see the, ch the, na the changes in the page names and the page titles. You can see that as well. But I'm not going to go through the skin process of, of this module. What I'm going to try to do is, if you see in their uh, installation package, they do come, it does come with, uh, with something called a page localization sample skin. What I'm going to try to do now, I'm going to try to install this skin and see if I can try that, if I can test that and see if we can see, in our case, home changing from home to the French version. So let's give it a shot here. Let's try to install this as a skin. I'm going, I'm going to admin skins. And from here, I'm going to go to the action menu. And okay, let me flip this to English. The action menu. Okay, where do I install? Okay, I think I have to install that just as a it's an extension. Let me go to extensions. And then from here, you see, okay, there's one skin. Let me, let me try to install it as an extension. I'm gonna select the, the folder is here. So page localization, sample skin. Let's see if this will work. Let's click next and next again. So type, it says skin. So that's a good sign. Click next again, next and accept the license, click next. So everything seems to be installed properly. Let's see, let me go all the way down. Okay, let's click return. Now let's scroll down to see if the skin package was installed. Yes, it was installed here, as you can see, Apollo. And it seems to be uh, the same version of the regular DNN skin, minimal extropy, let's see. Let's let's give it a try and go to the home page. Let me try to change the skin of the home page. Let, let's click on edit. And from here, I'm gonna go to advanced settings. I'm gonna try to select the Apollo skin that came with the page localization. Let's click on the drop down and let's give it a try here. Let's select this index option. I'm gonna click update. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to have changed anything, but hopefully uh, this did change. Let me click on the front side. Perfect. So as you can see, it's now showing the the name the page of the name of the page in in French as well. So I can flip back and forth. So to what I would advise is that. If you want to get to know which uh, skin objects, which screen skin uh, components are used, you, you just have to, and if you know how to create skins, you just have to open the skin package that comes with the this module and see which uh, which controls they are using there to replace the regular menu. But again, this has just shown us that we can use the new package to the new skin package and have the new skin controls in place so you can see the, the changes in the page name. Okay, so basically this is it. This is a quick overview of the Apollo module, the Apollo page localization module from Apollo Software Development. Again, I have done a couple of videos uh, prior to this one about some of their free uh, localization modules. They do have a very good set. If you need localization, you should definitely consider their modules. Okay, so thank you very much. This is it for now. Bye.